All right, Revolt TV, we are right here in Hillsboro, Oregon at Leica Studios, where they've made some of the greatest animations of all time, like Box Trolls, Coraline, and now they have Kubo and the Two Strings. Well, we're going to find out how the music played a part in this great animation, and we're going to talk to Travis Knight, son of Nike CEO Phil Knight, and find out how he went from shoes to music to now animated movies, right here on this edition of the Revolt Review. Kubo. We've been looking for you for so long. Mother! Kuba, you must find your father's armor. It's your only chance. Mother! Kuba! <gasps> Who are you? Your family is very powerful. Your mother used her magic to save you and bring me to life. I'm here to protect you, Kubo. And that means you have to do as I say. seen this crest before? Of course. This is a miracle. I have found the son of my master. Your quest is now my quest too. We don't know anything about you. Firing an arrow is hardly what I call impressive. Literally the first time I've ever done it. All right, so this is such an honor to sit here with Travis Knight, who's been behind all these great animated pictures here at Leica Studios. And also, who's known to some of the people as Chili T. Day, giving my all, but you don't like the way I'm living. I don't know that's all. I don't know what's going on with that. So, so can you talk a little bit about first how your career? I mean, and you know, coming from being on the board at Nike and having all this this left to you for as, as but going this direction. Like, can you can you talk about that decision? Yeah, I mean, I think that we all kind of have to find our muse. We all have to find our way. I mean, it's. Uh, we, uh, yeah, I think you know we get so much from our parents uh, in terms of genetics and guidance and everything else, but uh, but you know I think you know finding our charting our own destiny, finding those things that we're put on this world to do, finding those things that we're good at, something that we can contribute uh, yeah. in a meaningful way to the world. And when I follow my muse, this is where it led me to this weird you know cave of duvetine curtains and stop motion puppets. Um, I think when I look back to my childhood, I always loved art. I always loved creativity. I always loved making things. Uh, you know, in a lot of ways, it, like like many kids, I just I was a storyteller. I like you know creating my own paintings and drawings and comic books and everything else. Yeah. And that naturally leads you in a, in a number of different directions. And ultimately, in the, in the fullness of time, it led me here, which is this convergence of all the things I love: illustration and painting and and music and cinematography and sculpture. Yeah. Uh, that's what you have in a stop motion film. It's all these incredible art forms packed into one. And how does the music still, I mean, because I know that's one of your passions also, like, when getting into this, how do you implement your love for music into all of these movies, especially like Kobo and the Two Strings? Yeah, you know, music, it's, it's interesting because there is, there's a rhythmic quality to animation, there's a musicality to animation, where when you're, when you're bringing a puppet to life, or you're in you know, a frame at a time trying to find the, the, the physical beats that these characters go through, uh, there, is, there is a rhythm to it, and it, there's a, it, you know, it's like music in a lot of ways. And so when I first got drawn into animation, that, that was something that really resonated with me, that you can try to find the music in the, in the performance of the character in the right. animation. But you know, music, I think, you know, for a lot of us, music is such a huge part of our lives because it speaks to kind of deep emotions. And a lot of times when we can't articulate those things that we're feeling at various points in our lives, music gives voice to those emotions. Yeah. Whether it's, you know, an incredibly well-written lyric or it's a beautiful score, and as in the case of our movie. And so at the core of this movie, Kubo, he's a musician. He's kind of like Orpheus. He has divine music. He's gifted with the extraordinary ability to bring things to life with his music. And I think in, in a metaphorical sense, that really that's what music does. It gives yeah. us life. It's a reflection of our experiences and it taps into our emotions. And it's one of the things that binds us all together over, across all different societies and cultures and places. Music can connect us all. And there's a universality to it, which I love, which is at the theme of this movie. Well, thank you for your time. And uh, did Yeezy really jump over Jumpman? Or? <laughs> it's 
been a pleasure, man. <laughs>